This is a demo video of the Nikon CardioFax M. Some of the things you need to know. This is the on button. When you press the on button, the screen will light up. This is a digital screen that shows all 12 EKG leads. If you have any of these that are highlighted, that means it's not going to print all 12 because it has the option to print more than that. If that occurs, you're going to hit this button here that has the three files on it. Then you are going to choose the number one by clicking one, and it will go back to what it is. Before I can do any EKG, I have to put in my patient's information. To do that, I'm going to click the ID button. I've already inputted my information um, using myself as the patient. When you put in the information, you're going to use this keyboard. It works just like a real keyboard. So if you need to capitalize a letter, you're going to do a shift key at the same time you hit the key you want to capitalize. When you uh, put in all of the information, um, make sure that you have your patient's name, last name, first name. For your technician, please put first initial, last name. Okay. If your patient wishes to not tell you their weight, just list them at 100 pounds. Once you're done, you're going to click the OK button and it will bring you back to this. This system here that says you have a fail limb, that means that these electrodes are not connected to your patient. So we're not going to be connecting them at this time. Okay. Um, when you go to print it, you're going to hit this button first. This is the filter button. This filter button allows us to get rid of any of the artifact. It will not correct what I see on the screen here, but it will correct what prints out from here. The green button is my print button. I'm going to print or click it and I will see where it says now acquiring. Once it's done acquiring it and it is read the moment that it needs to, it will begin to print out. Okay, so now it's going to print. So I can see on here when it prints, I get all of that data that I typed in. I also get some more information. Of course, this one is blank because it's not hooked up to something. It'll give you a doorbell sound to tell you that it's there. Sorry, I'm having trouble moving it and then it's going to print out a two sheet. Now mine is a little large because I had it off kilter. Um, it will look more like this one when it's done regularly, okay? Uh, and so you will see that it printed out all of the information there. It will print out the text name down here at the bottom, okay? Um, it gives you the date and the time that it was done. So you always wanna verify that those are correct. Some other things that you want to know um, are over here on the side is where you open it to get your um, paper changed. We use Z fold paper that would have to be applied in there. And you wanna make sure that it is sticking out on the sides. I'll get that closed in a second. On the back side, you can see where it plugs in. You've gotta make sure that that's nice and snug so that your camera doesn't turn off in the middle of it, okay? And then on the far side, or on the other side of it, I can see this is where my electrodes plug in, or I'm sorry, my limb leads and, and chest leads plug in, as well as I have a spot for an SD card. We are not going to be using this, but it does allow us to store things um, externally if we choose to. Okay, and hopefully that helps you, and we'll be learning more about this.